Kim has been teasing the name Eerie Times for a whole year now, even creating a website and Instagram account with the same name. Many assumed it would be his second solo album, but I'm led to believe it could be a Kendrick Lamar collab. On the 3rd of May, a message on the PG Lang website was posted which read, Waiting for inspiration to find us. Be back soon. If you head to the website now, this message has been crossed out as to say, We are back, baby! We are back! That's we right. are back! The Hillbillies era is inspired by an American sitcom show named The Beverly Hillbillies from the early 60s. This show was about a poor family from the Ozark Mountains that strike it rich and moved to Beverly Hills in California, shaking up the ways of the posh Beverly Hills locals. From Mississippi to Chicago to come, now we in Beverly Hills. Rich bitch. The Hillbillies. They are black millionaires who come from impoverished communities, and as they say, you can take the nigga out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the nigga playing to their ignorant, flashy and flamboyant sides, moving in a lot of ways that are sure to horrify their Beverly Hills neighbors. Kendrick and Keem's relationship with money is one of their main topics when they work together. They even discuss this in their ID Magazine interview from 2021. Kendrick urges Keem to go deeper with the story as he feels many will find it relatable, but to only do it when he's ready. They also share stories which highlight the negative relationship they had with money at young ages, plus what money means to them now. Kim used to move house to house, and when he stayed with his grandmother, she'd open up about her financial stresses to him as they were extremely close. And now in a full circle moment, he's blessed with being able to buy her a beautiful house in a nice neighborhood. What I went through as a child, I was raised with my grandmother for the most part, and then I kind of flipped around. Um, I was with my mom for a stint. I just kind of flipped around houses a lot. Throughout the melodic blue, King flaunts his newfound wealth and wild escapades with the ladies. But when Kendrick shows up on Range Brothers, he sort of acts as the angel on the shoulder, a mentor trying to steer him in the right direction. The back and forth exchange of bars can even be interpreted as a conversation of some sort, Kenny trying to show him a better way of dealing with trauma. Fast forward to Mr. Morel, Kendrick reveals all the dysfunctional ways he tried to deal with grief, but they only lead him further down his depression. He even references Keem multiple times, and of course, it's related to money. I watched Keem buy four cars in four months, you know the family dynamics are on repeat. He's seeing Keem make the same impulsive decisions he made, and so they eventually have to find ways to heal, because at the end of the day, it's really all about breaking the generational curses and using money as a resource. Share the blessings, no more trauma. Hey, when the next family reunion? I'm trying to be like baby Keem. I know you're rich, nigga. Share the wealth then, nigga. Now the skits from the Flognor show were done by Kendrick's father, who also did the skits on Good Kid Mad City. This is another hint to a complete body of work coming out. Kendrick, where you at? Nigga, where my goddamn dominoes at? The PG Line crew is so calculated, they don't ever seem to do or say anything without a plan behind it. An exclusive Martin Rose collab, plus announcing one last piece of content from the Melodic Blue. The whole PG Line team looks to be gearing up to take over 2024. They're back with short pieces of film to promote their collaborations, which I believe are also part of the overall rollout. Keem also revealed that he was done with the Melodic Blue shows and that a new album is coming soon. New album coming soon, motherfuckers. Carter, who's one of PG Lang's main producers, revealed in a recent interview his excitement for the new music they're about to drop. Baby Keem, Santana, you know what I'm saying? The whole PG Lang for real. Kendrick Lamar, of course. We coming with it. I just hope y'all niggas is ready. Embrace this shit like a newborn baby, baby. And judging from the little things they've been saying, they too are seeing the current climate of hip-hop music, and they are determined to shake things up, bringing something new, reinventing themselves to something they take great pride in. I don't want to do the same thing every project, so. And I'm young, and you know, I know I just started, but I'm trying to do something different every album. Say it all time long. Niggas are terrible. Shit ain't rocket science. All this shit trash. Everything I hear is trash. Hey, baby king, can you save us from this trash shit coming out? God damn! We usually never know what song K-Dot is gonna take on for a new project, but he did express his love for Afrobeats in a Citizen Magazine interview. He said how being in Ghana and hearing certain drum patterns and sounds had him trying to remake them, trying to capture that same feeling. Well, whatever's coming, I hope he has seen the dirt they've been throwing on his name. Do you guys think we'll be getting this Hillbillies album anytime soon, or is it a pipe dream? Am I onto something, or am I reaching? Let me know.